Well, tonight, the film industry is reacting to this deadly shooting. Peter Dowd spoke with local director Christian Sesma, who says it hits close to home. Christian, when you heard about this deadly set incident involving Alec Baldwin as a filmmaker, what went through your mind? Well, I mean, it's absolutely tragic, and my heart goes out to, you know, uh, her family, her loved ones, uh, the crew, the cast of something like this, because, I mean, I, I just, I don't know if it was just sheer negligence. Just, I, I don't know. It's just a, it's a little bit baffling for, for us in the industry to know, um, just to hear about this and, and hear how this could have happened. And it's it's just tragic, it's, especially when you're dealing with uh, real blanks, real pyrotechnics, things like that. It's a very dangerous thing. And, you know, safety and protocols and procedures are are paramount when you're dealing with uh, with action movies and anything dealing with stunts. Yeah, and you certainly know because a lot of your movies involve weaponry and, and action. We just, yeah, I mean, we we thought about it. I mean, you hit obviously close to home, not just because we're all in the industry and we feel like a really tight family, but uh, I feel that we just did this uh, a week ago, um, and, and in, in, in our hometown, uh, we were we were doing a lot of live fire blanks um, in these action sequences that we shot on my last movie, and uh, it's you know the safety involved, the armor involved. You know, the, the many checks and balances that we go through to make sure that something like this doesn't happen. Um, you know, it, it's just a, it's a tragedy. And I don't, you know, it's a, I don't know, you know, we, we we're trying to make heads and tails of it. We just don't know. Yeah, I think there are a lot of unanswered questions. And obviously, a lot of movies get made involving weapons. Yeah. How does something like this happen? Or is it obviously rare? I mean, it's obviously rare. There's a lot of blanks going on in a, in a ton of movies, you know. Now, technically, we do do a lot of VFX work in these action movies quite a bit, too, to replace that so we don't have to deal with blanks. But, you know, one or two rounds gets mixed up in a box of uh, blank ammunition, and that's literally how it could happen. If you're going through, you know, we, we went through probably 600 rounds of ammunition on this last uh, this last picture overall. Uh, of ammo, right, of blank ammo. So we have to make sure that our armor and our team is meticulous in making sure that these blanks are safe. You're never pointing directly at camera. You're never pointing directly at our uh, cast members or crew members when these blanks are going off. And that's, that's usually the safety procedures that you're doing when you're doing action pictures. And I can only imagine how difficult the situation is for the folks involved in this movie. Oh, it's, it's so forward. sad. So sad. I'm sorry, what was the last bit? How do they move forward or, or, or I, do they have to put the I movie mean, on pause, do you think? Yeah, I mean, the movie is just, uh, you know, that's the secondary thing. How do they move forward as individuals? How do they move forward? You know, how does the industry move forward from this to make sure this doesn't happen? I mean, it's, I think it's going to get to the place where you're, we're just going to be relying on visual effects, which is at the place where it's totally, you know, you could totally sell the same thing. You know, we, I've done it a bunch of times. Uh, on the last few pictures that we did, we didn't use any blanks at all. It just so happens on the one we just did, we did use a lot of blanks. So um, I'm all for any non-use of blanks, as, as, uh, especially after this tragedy. You just don't know. You just don't know. Well, Christian, we certainly appreciate your time and your perspective. Thanks for Thank joining. Thank you. All right. Thanks.